Hey kids, it's me, Mr. Hudson, and our good friend, Benny the Bull. I like your shepherd's hat, by the way. It actually reminds me of a song we're just about to sing called What a Glorious Night, where it talks about how the shepherds heard good news of great joy that Christ has been born for us. So let's sing about that right now. Stood by his mother's side Here lay the Savior Inside a manger Oh, what a glorious night Oh, what a glorious night I hear the angels singing Hallelujah, let the earth receive her King I know the love has Sing it out, Jesus Christ is born. I know that Jesus Christ is born. Yeah, yeah. The shepherds wondered, they couldn't hide it. Told everyone inside. All were amazed when they heard how God came down on this glorious night. God came down on this glorious night. I hear the angels singing, hallelujah, let the earth receive her King. I know that love has come, sing it out, Jesus Christ is born. Star shining in the sky Below in Bethlehem A king is sleeping Oh, what a glorious night Oh, what a glorious night I hear the angels sing Hallelujah, let the earth receive her king I know the Lord has come for us Sing it out Jesus Christ is born I hear the angels singing Hallelujah, let the earth receive her King I know the love has come We sing it out Jesus Christ is born I know that Jesus Christ is born Well, we were pretty much amazed at the amount of attention this baby was garnering. I mean, it was like the whole town was buzzing. And I've even heard rumors that men from other countries are coming to visit. So, yeah, lots of incredible things happening. It's a pretty exciting time to be a goat here in Bethlehem. Um, how would you describe the baby Jesus? Boy, uh, you know, in a lot of ways, he's just like other human babies I've seen. But there really is something special about him. You just get a sense he's going to do important things. I also appreciate how good he is with the kids. He lets them come up and sniff them and uh, lick them. And have you gotten to meet the baby Jesus? Yes, he's really nice. And what's your favorite thing about him? Um, I like it when he smiles at me. He's pretty great. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a censor should be taken of the entire Roman world. 
This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. <laughs> oh, hello, come in. Oh, my tuckered, frazzled, weary and worn, dog-tired travelers. You have traveled from afar. Stop and rest and be refreshed. How was your journey to Bethlehem? It can be quite a journey. Up and down, a fretful and a hard journey. So stop and rest and be refreshed. But it all depends on where you have come from. And by the looks of you, whew, woof, you have all come from afar. So stop and rest and be refreshed. The bread will soon be done, and there are raisin cakes for everyone and plenty of goat's milk. Mm. I am Priscilla, with a P, the wife of Micah the shepherd and mother to Levi and Luke, shepherds in training. <sighs> oh, my gooskies, <gasps> have I got news for you. Oh, this is big, it is true, it is spectacular, it is breathtaking, it is amazing, it is gigantescue, it is joyful, it is jubilate, <coughs> and it is blessed. And I get to share it with you. And how do I know this is true? Because Micah, Luke, and Levi, and all the shepherds were there that night when it all happened. And since 
there is no one else around, I get to share it with you. <laughs> Hark, what is that rustling? And that nibbling, mm-hmm, yep. Peter, you come out of there. <gasps> Why are you dressed as a sheep? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, you're McFluffers? But you're a bunny. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, oh, Peter, have you lost your whiskers? Oh, he wants to tell you the story of that night. Oh, wait, stop the press. Peter, you cannot tell my tuckered, frazzled, weary and worn, dog-tired travelers about that night because you, my friend, are a rabbit and you speak rabbit jabber and I am the only one who can speak rabbit jabber. So let's think, 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 think. Yes, you will play the part of the sheep and you can eat this lettuce and let us continue with the story. A handful of nights ago, the stars were shining brightly and the moon, it was rising in the midnight sky and the shepherds were watching over their sheep when suddenly without warning an angel of the lord appeared and the shepherds oh they were so afraid this was like nail-biting afraidness <laughs> and they were shocked wouldn't you be shocked how many times does one get to see an angel of the Lord? The angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you, that means he was going to give them a clue, maybe two. You will find the babe wrapped in cloths, clue number one, and lying in a manger, clue number two. And then suddenly the sky split open. There was light and angels all over the place. And the angels were praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. The shepherds watched, and the angels were filled with joy, and then, poof, they were all gone. And Micah said to the shepherds, let us go to Bethlehem and see all this all these things that the Lord has told us about. And the shepherds said, we are on it. So off they went, quick like a bunny, in search of the greatest treasure in all the world. They searched up the streets and down the streets and around every corner. And then, oh, and then they found him just as the angel had said. They found the wee babe. He was wrapped in cloths. <sighs> and he was lying in a manger, just as the angel of the Lord had said. And the shepherds worshipped him. And as they left Bethlehem, they shared this good news, for their hearts were filled with joy. They shared the good news with the tall people, the small people, and the medium-sized people, and everyone was amazed. Well, I awoke to laughing, rejoicing, and leaping for joy, and I said, what has happened? And then they told me the good news. Oh, 
and my heart, <laughs> it was all a flutter. I was filled with great joy. And now I get to tell you the good news. You see, the angels did not come to the kings and to the queens. No, the angel of the Lord came to shepherds, people just as we are, to tell us that Jesus Christ, the Lord, had been born. And again, now I get to share this good news with you. Jesus has come, the Savior, to save us from our sins. Now, there's something very important that you need to know. And this is what you need to know. God always keeps his promises. You see, God, after hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, God kept his promise that he would send the Savior to save us from our sins. And he did. You see, God always keeps his promises. God never lies. God is always true, and we can trust him our whole life through. So now I get to share this good news with you. The angels told the shepherds, the shepherds told the people as they left Bethlehem, and now I get to share this news of Jesus being born, the greatest treasure in all the world, the greatest treasure to be loved, to believe, to know that Jesus has come to save us from our sins. Oh, my. <laughs> it's just good, good news. And so why don't you all go out to the well and wash your faces and wash your hands and come back in for some raisin cakes and milk while I get this bread into the oven. And Peter, you need to eat that lettuce. <laughs> and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby Keeping watch over their flocks at night An angel of the Lord appeared to them And the glory of the Lord shone around them And they were terrified, but the angel said to them Do not be afraid, I bring you good news
stand lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel. Facing God. Hello again. What a great piece of the story of Jesus' birth that we heard. Angels, shepherds, sheep, and Jesus, the greatest treasure. The angels told the shepherds. The shepherds were filled with joy. They told the good news. They believed. What a beautiful story. They were filled with joy, and now we have the good news and it is the gospel. And we know that Jesus was born. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Are you a whosoever? I am a whosoever. When I was eight, Jesus came into my life and saved me. My mom, my dad, my Sunday school teacher, they were like the shepherds. And they believed, they heard the good news, they believed it, and then they shared it with me so that I could know Jesus as my Savior. So now what? How do we share this good news? Can I offer a suggestion? Something that I did with my kids a long time ago, we made cookies or we got candy, or we went to the dollar store and got little Christmas candles, and we would wrap them up, and we made cards, and we wrote Bible verses in them. And then we gave them to our neighbors and our friends. And then when they would open the card, they would see the Bible verse, and they would read it, because we know that God's word is powerful. So... And today, I even do that with my neighbors today. I give them something, a little something at Christmas with a card that tells them about Jesus so that maybe the Holy Spirit will stir their heart to ask me more about my Savior. So always ask the Lord for how to share the good news because the Bible says when you ask, Jesus hears, and he answers, and he will help you to share the good news, the gospel of Jesus. So, I wish you a very merry and blessed, blessed Christmas.